The 2017 Spyker C8 Aileron LM85 the C8 Aileron has been around for about seven years now, first making the scene at the 2010 Salon International de l'Automobile in Geneva. As the automaker points out, the debut marked a significant milestone in Spyker Car's history, but with the production cycle soon ending and a third-generation vehicle on its way, Spyker is giving the C8 Aileron a proper send-off with this, the LM85 Special Edition. Inspired by Spyker's racing and aviation history, the C8 Aileron LM85 will be limited to just three examples, and come with new enhancements for the exterior and interior, plus a solid supercharged wallop from the mid-mounted 4.2-liter V8 engine. Continue reading to learn more about what makes the Spyker C8 Aileron LM85 special. What makes the Spyker C8 Aileron LM85 special? What's in a name? The C8 Aileron continues Spyker's penchant for aviation-inspired styling, taking cues from various jet-propelled aircraft, both for the exterior and interior. True to form, the C8 Aileron continues Spyker's penchant for aviation-inspired styling, taking cues from various jet-propelled aircraft, both for the exterior and interior. This includes several nods to the turbine blade design aesthetic, as opposed to the propeller-inspired themes seen in first-generation cars like the Spyker C8 Spider and Spyker C8 La Violette. However, the LM85 also draws heavily from motorsport. The name was used previously in 2008, when Spyker brought out the C8 La Violette LM85 at the Los Angeles Auto Show. The number and letter combo harkens back to the brand's competition past, especially in endurance racing. Spyker's factory-backed GT racing team, also known as Spyker Squadron, ran the Spyker C8 La Violette GT2R at a variety of high-profile events, including the 12 Hours of Sebring and 24 Hours of Le Mans, as well as various international FIA GT races. As such, the Spyker C8 La Violette GT2R was the inspiration for the C8 La Violette LM85. Spyker's complete racing heritage is even older, dating back to 1922 with Selwyn Edge. However, Spyker's complete racing heritage is even older, dating back to 1922 with Selwyn Edge, who drove a Spyker C4 to break various speed records by averaging 120 km per hour .5 miles per hour in two 12-hour periods, also known as the double 12 record. So what's with the styling? The Spyker C8 Aileron LM85 takes several cues from modern GT racers, Moving back to the present day, the Spyker C8 Aileron LM85 takes several cues from modern GT racers. The exterior incorporates handcrafted and riveted aluminum body work, plus intakes made from solid billet aluminum and impressively flared wheel arches. There's LED lighting for the headlights and rear turn signals, plus plenty of aero elements as well. Most notably, though, the C8 LM75 also gets the same paint scheme as the GT cars, with all three examples of the special edition draped in the Spyker Squadron GT racing livery. Each example is also unique, one incorporates jet black paint with a crimson red S, the second gets crimson red paint with a jet black S, and the third gets jet black paint with a golden S. Each example also gets unique 10-spoke wheels, measured at 19 inches in diameter and matched to the body color. The wheel design is a rotor blade style, with measurements coming in at 8.5 inches wide in front and 10 inches wide in the rear. Michelin provides the rubber, with staggered tire sizing at 235 35ths in front and 295 30ths in the rear. The C8 Aileron also features a longer, GT-style wheelbase, measured at 107.2 inches. Overall length is 180.7 inches, while the width is 77 inches, height is 50 inches, front track is 64 inches, and rear track is 64.8 inches. You mentioned something about the interior spec? The cabin color scheme matches that of the exterior. Once again, Spyker is offering a rather impressive interior with this special edition C8. The cabin color scheme matches that of the exterior, and includes two-tone leather upholstery, custom seats, a turned aluminum dash, chronoswiss gauges, and that awesome exposed gear shifter we've come to expect from the brand. Never change, Spyker. 
On the steering column, you'll find aluminum paddle shifters if you find you can't tear your hands off the wheel. The leather interior comes with diamond stitching as an option, or Alcantara if you prefer. The turned aluminum dash is another awesome feature, looking like it was plucked off an airplane from the 20s or 30s. A floor-mounted pedal box provides inputs for the go and stop. What's making the loud noises? Note, standard Spyker C8 engine pictured here. All three versions of the Aileron LM85 Special Edition get the same Audi-sourced 4.2-liter V8 found in the standard car. However, in the LM85, this lump is supercharged. All three versions of the Aileron LM85 Special Edition get the same Audi-sourced 4.2-liter V8 found in the standard car. However, in the LM85, this lump is supercharged to produce a whopping 525 horsepower at 6,800 revolutions per minute and 600 newton meters (443 pound-feet) of torque at 3,500 revolutions per minute. Compared to the stock C8 ailerons 400 horsepower and 354 pound-feet, the LM85 version is absolutely worthy of its special edition title. Redline is set at 7,200 revolutions per minute. With an extra 125 ponies and 89 pound-feet of twist on tap, the C8 aileron LM85 is much faster than it was before. The 0 to 62 mph sprint is done in just 3.7 seconds, as compared to 4.2 seconds for the standard model. Top speed is also improved, pegged at 200 miles per hour compared to 187 miles per hour in the standard model. Putting the power exclusively to the rear axle is either a 6-speed automatic or a 6-speed manual gearbox. The slush box comes from ZF, offering clutch-less sequential gear shifts if desired, while the manual version comes from Getrag. Out back, there's no limited slip differential, a move Spiker justifies by saying it wanted to provide drivers with an undiluted sports car driving experience. Finally, the C8 aileron comes with an optional whisper mode to keep it all civilized when cruising through sleepy towns. The system uses noise dampening reed valves for a quieter exhaust note below 3,500 revolutions per minute. Open it up though, and you'll get the full throated V8 blast out back. What's under the skin? The production chassis tips the scales at 230 kilograms, 507 pounds, while the whole thing is rated at 3,141 pounds, distributed in a 45/55 ratio front to back. Below those racing and aviation-inspired body panels, you'll find an all-aluminum space frame for a relatively low curb weight, with features like one-piece side sills for added rigidity. The production chassis tips the scales at 230 kilograms, 507 pounds, while the whole thing is rated at 3,141 pounds, distributed in a 45/55 ratio front to back. Managing the heft is an independent double wishbone suspension, both front and rear. Developed in conjunction with Lotus, this multi-adjustable suspension utilizes stabilizer bars at both ends, plus Bilstein mono-tube dampers matched with coilover springs from Eibach. Options include an adjustable hydraulic ride height with 40 mm of variation. Further weight savings come from forged aluminum, which is used for the various suspension components, while the brake calipers and wheels also get the alloy. AP provides the discs, with 350 mm inch units in front and 332 mm inch units in the rear. Both ends get drilled discs and four pot calipers painted to match the body, by the way, squeezing pads from Ferrodo. Finally, a speed-sensitive steering system with hydraulic assist makes it all turn. Can I get one? Spiker declined to make pricing for the C8 Aileron LM85 public, but considering the standard model went for over $200,000 when new, you can bet this highly exclusive, customized, and supercharged special edition will be eye-wateringly pricey. We wouldn't be surprised to see it go for $400,000 to $500,000, maybe more. References Spiker C8 Read our full review on the 2011 Spiker C8 aileron. Read our full review on the 2011 Spiker C8 aileron Spider. Read our full review on the 2010 Spiker C8 Laviolette. 
If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.